People of YouTube, welcome to my channel. I'm Aaron, a software startup CEO who has some bad luck. I have a complete span smart sub panel installation video in the works, but I didn't want to confuse it with this first attempt at being installed. Span has subcontracted with a local electrician who calls themselves Key West Electric. They're doing a great job getting the panel installed. Once the Span sub panel was installed, the electrician sent me an invite to adopt that panel into my Span app. The panel adopted successfully, however, it showed no electricity being used. Also, what was interesting was that it did import all of the circuits and circuit naming into the app. So there was a level of communication between the span and span's cloud. Even though the subpanel showed no electrical usage, we decided to test the ability to turn a circuit on and off in the app. And I was successfully able to turn a circuit off. The problem came when I tried to turn the circuit back on. The application generated an error and would not turn the circuit back on. And one of the things I learned about SPAN is circuit on and off is not controlled by the breaker. There's some sort of relay behind the breaker that clamp and unclamps from the bus. So if you turn off a circuit and you're unable to turn the circuit back on in the app, there's no way to do it manually in the panel. So I had a panel that was failing to send data back to their cloud as well as failing to re-enable a circuit. Within the app, there's a button for span support and a phone number. I called that phone number and I was blown away. Somebody answered the phone. And not only did someone answer the phone, but they sounded like they were knowledgeable about span. I told them about my issue and the person at the other end showed empathy and concern and tried their best to get the panel back online from their end. And when all failed, they escalated my issue to their software development team. I'm still in the middle of a three to four week solar roof installation, so you are going to hear banging behind me, in front of me, to the side of me, everywhere around me. And then an hour later, approximately 9 p.m. my time, I received a text message from someone else at SPAN who also sounded like they understood the product, asking me questions, telling me everything was going to be okay, answering my questions, and letting me know that they were trying to get the circuit on themselves remotely. In about 10 minutes in, uh, they were able to enable the circuit and calm my issues. Then the following day, proactively, SPAN gave me a call to let me know that they think that the motherboard in my SPAN is bad and they're sending a new one to my electrician to swap out. I have a second SPAN being installed today and let's see if that one works out of the box. If it does, I'm just going to chalk this up to startup. You see, working with startups like SPAN has its pluses and minuses. The minuses are gonna be higher failure rates and potential bugs. The pluses though, are that you can get really good support and give the company early feedback to their product that they will likely implement. Usually you can get better support from startups than larger companies. Take Tesla, for example. That's it for my quick update. See you in a few days with a hopefully a successful span installation video as well as a solar roof update. And to everyone out there, I want to give you one last big toodles.